Itself here, I, I'm not going to do anything in terms of paranormal. I won't mention any of our spirits, I will leave that all to your host later. So, all I'm going to do is give you the history of the house itself. Right now, the first thing we do is start by going right back to 1068. We are mentioned in the, in the Doomsday Book, and there was actually a settlement here before then as well. But the first recorded owner is in 1162. Now, this is a gentleman by the name of Robert Fitzroy. The surname Fitzroy appearing on lots of uh, royal family trees because he was actually the illegitimate son of a royal. The Baron of Oakhampton, we believe him to have been the 26th illegitimate child of King Henry I. Now he actually kept the house until the end of that year, passing it on to a distant cousin of his called Henry Champenown. Now the Champenown family, a very well-known, prominent family from Normandy, they actually kept this house in their possession until the early 1500s, when the line in this area ceased completely. By the middle of the 1500s, we take on our second royal connection and the connection to the most famous uh, Tudor family of all in the corner of the room there, of course. This house was owned as a hunting lodge, so basically a holiday home, by the Duke of Suffolk, a gentleman called Henry Grey. Henry Grey was the father of Lady Jane Grey. Lady Jane Grey, queen for nine days at the age of 17. She was then taken off the throne by Mary Tudor. She was taken off to the Tower of London eventually. She had her head taken off as well. Now, the, uh, the rest of the Grey family went into hiding. They were classed as traitors, so the church took control of this estate next. At that time, the estate ran to something like 300 acres. The church splitting it up into lots of individual units. By the 1600s, the house had dropped out of status completely. It was owned by smugglers and shipwreckers. By the 1700s, the Chancun Manor Farm was in existence when some of the outbuildings were added around site as well. And then in 1979, the Chancun Trust was created. That's the small private charitable trust, the basis on which we operate today. Just to let you know, we're not connected to National Trust nor to English Heritage. We are still governed by all of the world. Right here, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, it's like, I want to just flat. The next one is really heavy, but near. Be very careful, dude. Really hard to like. Oh. Go, go past the tree. I feel like I'm dragging a body. Yep. Oh, I can feel the body being dragged through here. Mm -hmm. It is, because it's really like. Oh. And it was a really mean, really, I just want to say a mean man. And, just, and this boy saw the whole thing happen or something. This boy saw it. And he knew, he just knew. This man, he was wicked. He was wicked, man. I don't know, I don't know what happened. But the, every, everything knows, the trees even know. <laughs> We're actually yeah. standing in an area here which is known to be a mass grave. It's where a lot of the servant children would just literally, if a servant child died in the house, they would just be brought out into this area and then just buried somewhere in this area. What we've got that's been surrounding us all the time is what we call the guardian of the souls. Now this, we say gentleman, he's, he's not. Um, we call him an elemental. He's neither human nor animal. He's a bit in between. People saw me earlier pointing to Chimpy Boy on my laptop. He's often seen, and Jane was doing it, crouching down. That's what I've seen okay. over here. He actually appears almost like Gollum yeah. in Lord yeah. of the Rings. Like, uh, uh, yeah, that's what I've heard. And it's very throaty. And he's right behind you at the minute. Yeah, he's it's there. A, it's as if to say, <laughs> keep away from the area <laughs> that you're in. <laughs> now, sometimes he will actually appear here as I very visible you, red orbs. Okay, yeah. red orbs. Danger. Okay, he doesn't want you here. Okay, very manic, all over the place. Often you feel like he's rounding you up like a sheepdog would do, around you all the time. Yeah. Very, very fast. 
spinning from one end to another. Now, if he actually takes off and goes through you, you will feel that physical sickness as he goes through you because he literally takes off and goes. Okay, But also very aggressive. If you go into the area in which he's actually standing, you will pick up that aggression. Okay. And why I moved out that area? Mm, like, yeah. When I was down there and I looked down here, uh, over by here, this is where I seen like crouching, yeah. like mm. that. It's, like, is it, yeah. As I say, if you imagine Gollum from the Lord of the Rings, the position that he yeah. took up. That's, the, um, that's exactly what I always and seen. And it's him. almost, it's always hands mm. in front as well. Yeah, and almost as if yeah. peering around the corner at you. Your face looks like a skull at the moment. It doesn't it's a light. Well, actually, it, yeah. I don't know if it's a light or not. But. Does he like you for some reason? Is no. he attracted to you? Uh, he is attracted to me, but he doesn't like yeah. anybody. Uh, and it, what he won't like is the fact that we're standing <coughs> on the... Yeah, he likes you. Would you like me to talk to you? Move the glass, if that's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, stop the glass. Are you related to me? Move the glass. Thank you. Just com to confirm, are you related to me? Move the glass. Is that? Are you female? Move the glass if you're female. Move the glass if you're. Move the glass. Move the glass towards me if you're a male. Move the glass towards me if you're female. Any idea who it might be, Tom? Me. I'm no. sorry, it's not Tom, is it? <laughs> Just ask me if you're related, then. Are we related? Thank you. Sophia, who else is in here with us? Are there's, is there more than just you? Seven spirits. Are there seven of you in here? Is that a yes? Sophia, is that a yes? Are there seven people, seven spirits in here with you now? Is that a yes? Come on, Sophia. Come on, work harder. Okay. How oh, weird. Do you think she means there's seven spirits? Okay. Can you do anything else then, Sophia? Can you throw something? Can you make a noise? Come on, touch the bed, sit on the bed for us. <laughs>